Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another PhotoP tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how you can make a Roblox profile picture that looks super cool and is super easy to make. So without further ado, let's get started. So once you have PhotoP open, all you want to do is click New Project, and for the width, type in 800, and for the height, type in 800. Then hit Create, and now you're ready to begin. So once you have this blank background, you're going to want to bring in your character, and there's plenty of videos on YouTube, I'm sure, where you can get your characters and cut them out and all that. But let's just skip that and say you already have your character. What you're gonna wanna do, I'm just gonna get this dude right here. You just wanna copy and paste him in there. I'm gonna move him to the center like this. Now I'm gonna hit Control and J, and then Control Alt T, and I'm gonna hold Shift while I drag this box to resize him. I'm gonna move it like right behind him. Hit that check mark. Move that layer down so now you can see he's behind him and now, just turn the opacity down on it and it looks like that. Double click on your background layer, go to gradient overlay, click this gradient box, double click on this box at the bottom left and I'm gonna choose like a dark red and then this orange right here. If I hold left click, I can choose that color. Hit okay, hit okay. You can see it's coming together already. Hit okay again. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to my brush tool I'm gonna hold Alt and right click and drag my mouse up and to the right to make it big like this. And I'm just gonna click up here. Oops, I forgot. I gotta make a new layer, so go down here to the bottom right and click on new layer. Now move this layer above these and click. Like that. I'm gonna change it to overlay. And you can see here, it's pretty cool. You can turn the opacity down a little bit on it if you want, but I like it like this. And we're already almost done. What you want to do now is Control J layer one twice. Double click on one of them and uncheck this R box. I hit OK and use your arrow key to move it to the left. Just keep pressing it like twice. Now double click the other layer, uncheck B, move it to the right a little bit. And it gives it this like glitchy looking effect, which is really cool looking. And that's just a little effect that makes it look cool, so you don't have to do it, but I think it's a nice touch. Um, that's going to wrap it up. Super easy to do, I know. If you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you, leave a like and subscribe. I appreciate it a bunch, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.